what's going on guys welcome back to this video and today we are just reviving over the wire videos so from now on we'll be doing try hack me hack the box over the wire and later on i'm gonna add more um uh, labs and online challenges we can solve so basically over the wire we have done videos before over the wire i'm gonna put uh, put the link in the description of the video for the playlists so last thing we did was level 10 okay so basically uh, natus challenges are all about web application penetration testing if we remember if you go back to war games we sold bandit bandit was a set of challenges designed to help you build your linux skills now if you go back to natus natus is a set of web challenges or a series of challenges designed to help you build your web application penetration testing skills so you can review the videos in my playlist i'm going to put them again in the video description you can access them and now let's resume and go to level 10 so from level 10 we're going to move up to level 11 by solving this challenge so if you load up the challenge let's go back now this is a challenge after i have solved it ignore this text when you open the challenge we see this cookies are protected with XOR encryption and we see a box with a preset value of a background color now you can play around with this feature by setting a different background color and see what happens now we have a new uh, a button here that states view source code if we click on that we are taken to the source code page let's go ahead and go over the code here so we sc scroll the way down let's explain the, the php functions later this is the start of the page as you can see this is the background color property and the background color is loaded into the data variable and we have the statement cookies are protected with the XOR encryption and then we have this if the variable data okay the attribute true password equal to yes then the password is revealed so from this line we know that or from this if statement we know what we need to do we need to set the show password to yes and the rest is irrelevant let's go up and see where it is we have a variable called default data which is an array variable where the where the show password property equals to no and the background color equal to white our job is to try to find a way to change this to yes and we have three functions if you take a look at the load data function first we have a definition for the global variable cookie which holds the cookie value and then we have a variable called my data equal to def now def is the argument of the load data function if you go back to the line where it calls the load data function this is the line that calls the function as you can see it passes the default data variable which is the array that contains these values so my data equal to this Okay, this array okay now then it checks if the array here or if the data this is by the way a uh, string if the string data is actually or if it exists within the cookie variable if it does then we have a new variable declaration here temp data which equals to let's take a look at this it first decodes the cookie okay so it means that the cookie is based in page 64 it decodes the cookie from page 64 XOR encrypt it and then decode it from json so there are three operations base 64 decode so XOR encryption and the json decode these operations are performed on the cookie itself and then it checks as you can see if the variable temp data which contains the encoded form of the cookie contains the show password and background color and of course we know that the cookie contains them because they are passed as an argument in the function and then as you can see here guys it sets these two properties show password and background color to the my data so eventually my data that was first equals to this array will now contain the cookie in addition to these in addition to the original array so now the final cookie value the final cookie value is first decoded from page 64 
XOR encrypted and then JSON decoded and the final cookie value contains this array all right let's go to the XOR encrypt here so the XOR encrypt has a key that is not that's censored here so we don't know the key and we know the text here this is the plain text as you can see this is the XOR encrypt function and the value of the in here is the cookie okay so the cookie is taken along with the key and there is a bitwise XOR encryption performed to produce the out text the out text is the encrypted form of the cookie and now the save function data is to save the data so how do you go about converting this into yes to be able to um, reveal the password so we know we know that show password array is part of the overall cookie so what we have to do we have to create a cookie ourselves okay and set the show password to yes before we do that we have first to perform the x understand the XOR encryption as you can see here we don't know the key okay if we don't know the key we cannot produce the plain text what is known to us is the plain text the so plain text is the input okay which is the cookie so if you go back now let's open the challenge on a new page um, okay so we have to go back to settings all right reload the page okay so now if we click on f12 to bring up the browser developer tools um, so this is the cookie we have it okay now the cookie if we take the cookie as an input along with the cipher cipher text we know the cipher text okay so the cipher text with the plain text will produce the key that's our first job is to deduce the key once we deduce the key we will be able to deduce the final form of the encrypted cookie we need an encrypted cookie where the show password equal to yes we will start with the show password equal to no so here ls nano so we have to create php code here as you can see the first php code will take the original cookie okay and decode it from page 64 now this original cookie is the original plain text that will be taken as an input by the XOR encrypt function okay now the key now as to the key remember that in XOR encryption when we have plain text with cipher text we're going to produce a key so the output here will be a key okay that's the first code so we have the cookie from the browser right that's the cookie now when we have the cookie and we have the cipher form now why 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 we use actually these two properties remember that we set the show password and the background color to the original values and then we use json encode because in the XOR encryption the final value is json encoded decoded so we have to encode it to make sure that we have the cipher text so let's go to the function now as you can see first we call the XOR encrypt on the cookie the XOR encrypt will take the cookie at the plain text along with the key as the cipher text and we should get the output as the key itself now here we might be confused now let me tell you what's gonna happen so here we should rename this to cipher and here let's say cipher To cipher and then the out text will be the key itself so here key key and then here we change this to key now it makes sense so we execute this and we should get the key Now, take a look at this this is the key but not all of it you remember in XOR encryption the key is repeated so many times to encrypt a plain text so knhl and then you have knhl and then you have knhl there is a repeated pattern 
right? Of the same for words or uh, sorry, uh, letters. So gain at shell is the key. Now, now we have the key. Okay, the key is known now. What we have to do, we have now to feed the key with the cookie we have and to set the show password equal to yes and then use the XOR encryption function to set the final key that's how we create a new script now php1 now here we execute okay as you can see here the first line is go here so we call page 64 encode XOR encrypt json encode it's the very opposite of what it first does here so we just encode the data what's the data the data is an array that we have declared same way they did here but with the show password equals to yes right we take this we just encode it and then we pass it to xor encrypt so xor encrypt what's going to happen it's going to take the json form of this array and then we have the key and then it produces the ciphertext the ciphertext is taken and page 64 encoded and it will produce the final cookie it's the same way uh, that it worked here so once you do that you're gonna execute and this is the cookie you're gonna go back change the cookie value here refresh and you'll get the password for the next level which is Natus 12 so that was it guys I hope you like the challenge and I will definitely see you in the next video.